if you're part of the working middle class, the proposed tax reform package will reduce your tax burden. And if you're earning about 20,000 pesos or below every month, you will soon pay a lower income tax. Increasing disposable income of wage earners that will in turn boost economic productivity. But a lower income tax means government will lose about 139 billion pesos in revenues. That's why proponents of the bill want to hike excise taxes on cars and fuel to fill in the gap. While middle income earners will pay lower taxes, the likes of tricycle driver Alfredo Prado, who's not even an income tax payer, will shell out more for gas. While an additional 3 pesos per liter of fuel may be small for car owners, the amount is big for Prado, who's earning only 500 pesos a day. Kumari, wag na lang eh, kasi mahal na yung gasolina eh. Hirap na hirap na kami sa ano, araw-araw kung sumo namin. Percival de Mesa shares Prado's concern. He believes higher taxes on fuel may lead to more costly goods. Pagka tumas ang tax, tataas din ang bilihin lahat. The Finance Department wants to dispel worries the tax reform package is anti-poor. Officials say the hike in fuel excise tax puts more burden on the rich than the poor. The 10% richest families consume half of the country's fuel requirement, while the poorest half of the population only consume 13%. This tax reform, when seen as a package, provides... 99% of the Filipinos with positive benefits. Officials also say the state will provide targeted transfers of 300 pesos per month to poor families. Add to that are fuel subsidies called Pantawid Pasada for public utility vehicles. They say this will offset any hike in prices of goods and services. But officials admit making the public understand the benefits of tax reform package remains a challenge. Rex Remitio, CNN, Philippines.